What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to On The Bench Repeat, the series you put on in the background as your hobby or paint along with me. Now this series is designed for you to put on in the background whilst you do something a bit more mundane and today I'm doing something very mundane. I'm doing something I'm really not that keen on, you know, but it's kind of an, I, I view it, at least at present, as a necessary evil. Okay, so um, I'm doing terrain. Sorry, I was just looking to see if my camera was charged into the um, the battery charging port thing. Yes, it is. Okay, so grab yourselves a drink, coffee, tea, whatever else you need. And um, we are going to get to the bench. I've got stuff to talk about. Oh, man. I'm having a good day, though, so far. This is day two of my terrain escapades this week. So let's just get to it. So I'm going to move the camera over now. Look at that real time. Because I don't have a monitor. I'm, I'm in a different area, look. I don't have um, a monitor I can see if I'm on screen or not. And it doesn't really matter. I'll just pop that timer on. Um, I'm trying to make... I'll, I'll tell you straight away. I'm trying to make a Zone Mortalis set. And yesterday, I'll be totally honest with you. All day. And I ended up with... This five square bits and three straight bits. I'm, I've got to build it out of foam board because that's all I've got, and I've only got this thin stuff. So, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit, but that's all right. That's okay. I'm not too bothered about how messy the corners look. Yesterday, I was a bit disheartened. I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't, I won't lie to you. And it was Mrs. Mini Warzone who said, "Well, you can do it. It's all right." It's, so what, you know, just kind of pick me back up and like, yeah, I, because I've done so apparently little, I felt like I'd wasted my day, but I haven't, and I realise that now. Um, in fact, I'm going to do something. Well, I've got these. Ah, right, it's a good question. I hear myself asking. I was getting so fed up with trying to make these things and to try and make them look, you know, half decent even. I was just so fed up with it. Um, I thought, how can I make the, the square ends quickly and easily? I thought, well, I've got lots of lids. I thought maybe I could do that. And do you know, I might do some of them that way. I might, because why not? But I'm not gonna do all of them that way. My wife said, it looks better with the squares. I mean, you've got to use your imagination. Imagine them all painted up and weathered and pipes, goodness knows what else on them, textured and pretty looking. It's the painting I like. I like the painting, but I do not like this building. Oh, before we carry on, uh, I picked myself up a bag of toy soldiers for the costly sum of £1.50 true they're not <laughs> they're hardly games workshop in terms of detail or warlord games or any, anything else and they've got mold lines galore on them and they're just this just a kid's pack of soldiers but i thought i can paint them i can still paint i don't who says the hobby has to be expensive it does not so i i'm going to be painting these bad boys up at some point I'm assuming green and grey is like Germans and Americans or, or whatever you want them to be. Two different sides. Anyway, line them up, flick marbles at them, whatever you do. That's what we used to do as kids. Anyway, I'm digressing already. Let's get back to this because, you know, this was like the my, bane of my existence yesterday. And I thought, oh, I'm using up all my glue and... You know, I just, I was, get, I was, I was really down about it yesterday. Because, you know, I don't have much glue. I'm running out of everything. <laughs> I do have... Leave these somewhere to dry. Leave these over here to dry. I do have PVA glue... And um, 
I think I've got enough foam board to do it, but um, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm trying to imagine these lids painted up in like a sort of steel, steel colour. I think they'd look pretty cool, actually. Let them settle. Now that's the key. One of the things that was bugging me yesterday was trying to put these together. They're not very accurate, super accurate because, well, I'm using a steel rule to cut them, but, and yeah, I don't care. It, I, I initially wanted them for Necromunda because um, I, I figure that's probably what I'll use them in most. So uh, they just need to fit in the areas on the board because flat walls don't do it for me. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I've got a good imagination, but they don't. Flat walls do not do it for me. Uh, they just don't. And um, I, I have to have something a bit more visually stimulating to put my get my brain in gear, you know. Anyway. Enough of that. Right, so for the for the top here, I think it's a two inch, uh, yeah, it's a two inch square I need for the top. This is kind of a, my off cut, as it were. I know that, yeah, I might as well use these. I know that, um, well this, I know that for the the edges, nine point five is what I'm I'm needing. But yeah, so anyway, this is that's this is me. This is what I've been doing. This is what I'm doing today. Um, this is what I'm doing. Terrain making, and I don't. I'm not a terrain man. I'm not, you know, the terrain tutor or, you know. Luke's affordable paint service or anyone like that. Nowhere near it. If I could afford to buy a Zone Mortalis set, I would. I'll be honest, I'll be perfectly honest with you. And I would and I would enjoy painting it. That's what I enjoy. I guess it's because I'm I'm not sure if what I'm doing is a large part of it. People probably tune into this and go oh my goodness what's he doing oh my lord but i'm happy at least at least you're happy uh you know I, i'm i'll do what i can with what i've got and yeah you know that's the way it is <sighs> i'm sure i could find a use for these small off cuts i've done something today this morning whilst i was before i even got out of bed I made a short promotional video for where my wife works. Because um, where my wife works, there's one of the people that showed us great kindness over the festive period amongst um, a few. I'm not going to name names, but at least not here anyway. I love the smell of PVA glue, don't you? God, oh, smell that. Just takes me back to school. Sorry, um, going off on a tangent again. Um, yeah, and I, it felt like my chance to give something back. So, uh, you know, didn't take me very long. I know what they need as a company, as a business from, you know, I haven't even finished my first marketing course yet, but uh, I can see already what they need as a business. And, you know, I, I can't give them everything they got because I don't have the material. I could if I had um, access to footage and websites and various other things. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I did this and it felt really good. It felt brilliant to do it 
um, and I know, you know, he appreciates it. So, yeah, <laughs> basically. Right, how long did I say these had to be? Four and a half. Four and a half square by four and a half square. Right, that's four and a half. Right, and that's all right, okay. Four and a half. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be doing more that I can for him to kind of, you know not because it's like oh yeah, you I, I owe him and it's like a balance and that, but one good turn deserves another. And whilst I can't help people in a monetary fashion at the moment because I'm so poor I can give them oops my time and I think oh, time is the new money these days don't wouldn't you agree I think so good job for cutting mats This is one of my gaming tables actually I'm doing. <laughs> well, the the underneath bit. There's a change working over here for a bit. Uh, I kind of paint over there. I know I do more painting over there. I'm hoping that this uh, corner that I did yesterday I can kind of work in here somehow. I think I might be able to do it. Well, we'll have a go anyway. They're pretty strong when they're dry, but when they're wet, they're flimsy as heck. They really are. Not worth your time, really. Right, so let's pop that to one side and let's see if we can make something with these. I'm looking for, I don't know how many pieces to do. The easiest pieces to make are the straight sections, which makes sense. I'm, you know, I'm considering having um, some some of these squares here um, attached to the walls. Um, you know, that, that's what I'm thinking. This is what I'm. This is what I'm thinking. Um, so I can just pop sections down you know that would be good so we have a couple of those but yeah anyway gotta go back to marking up my stuff now and yeah let's see if we can do it because these are same width they're 4.5 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters and the tops are two inches so look at that i'm going i'm alternating between uh, imperial and metric that's okay Alrighty, so I can draw a line.
you know, I hope I can contribute in some small way to my wife's works. Um, yeah. Marketing, it'd be lovely to think, you know, they got some new business because of something I did on a video. You know, it's even a quick inquiry. That would be fantastic. That would, that would really make my day. It really would. Right. Right, so I have a piece there too. I'm going to have a sip of coffee, guys. 15 minutes in. Um, I'm sure there was something else, so stuff I got to talk about. Work's going good. Um, just over this. Mm. Oh, decaf. Work's going good. My hours have changed uh, to afternoons, which is better for me, actually. It works out better for me. I get more time with my family, and I can, you know, I get laying every day. I go to bed later at, like, a normal time, like in the, what I consider to be the evening, late evening, not early evening, because in the summer, come summer, if I was still on my old hours, I would have had to have gone to bed with the bright sunshine out just to have the energy to function the day after, you know, and that's, that's no good for anyone. Right, let me just check my phone for messages, I haven't heard it go off. No, it hasn't. That's good. Uh, right, so... Am I going to use this? Uh, yeah, I need to make these squares. So, 4.5. Hmm. <laughs> I did 9.5. Well, let me see if I can do another 4.5. Will that give me enough room? Not quite. Oh, gutted. That's all right. It's okay. I can live with it. I won't throw all my offcuts away, but I'll um only the ones that are really not worth while. Oops. Right. Now I do need to cut the end bit off here because it's small. Well, obviously I need to cut them all off, but... Trim this up. Oh, yeah. See, some people could probably make stuff with little bits like that. Right, my phone's just gone off and I'm... Hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, my wife's boss is very pleased. <laughs> Right, <laughs> he likes the promotional video I did on, I did it and I posted it up on LinkedIn actually, but I have a hard copy um, that I'm going to give to him and any future videos I may make.
Never underestimate the power of videos, my friends. I got a job interview for Games Workshop based on the power of a video alone. Yeah. Um, I did a video, CV. Looking at it now, it's like, it's a bit cringeworthy because the sound's not brilliant because I didn't have a proper microphone back then. But, you know, I demonstrated... I demonstrated several things uh, that I, you know, I look good in a suit. I can dress smartly. I'm well articulated. I can obviously edit videos, um, do things like green screen and so on and so forth, st stuff like that. And I obviously I have a good brain. And I, I explained a little bit about myself. And one of the interviewers for Games Workshop, he actually said to me, do you know, I feel like I know you already, you know, from your video. So... Yeah, never underestimate the power of videos, my friends. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something like that again soon, I think. I'll do a re updated a video CV um, with better sound and all that kind of thing, I, I think. Don't you? I think so. Yeah, I could really show showcase myself. Try that again. It wasn't quite flat enough for my liking. All right, try that again. Flatter surface, that's better. There we go. This isn't what, this is, I wasn't doing this yesterday, you see. I was, I don't know, trying to hurry and rush and stuff. Right. Okay. Let's see if I can do the straights. Let's do some straights. Right. So what I gotta do is a 4.5 on the edge. So I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can see the numbers easier. Because I'm, you know, I'll get. I'm going to try and apply for Games Workshop again, I've decided. Um, because I'd really like to work in, you know, even in a retail store. I mean, I work in retail now, don't I? And the job I've got is great. I love it. It it really suits me. Uh, it's, it's easy. But I can't only really imagine what it would be like to work and around your hobby stuff that you love i know it would probably take away well some people say it will um make your hobby seem like work i disagree because and i disagree because people i know already that work there doesn't stop them hobbying in their free time i can tell you that they still love it, so why wouldn't I? Can you imagine? Hmm. Oh, I'll answer her later. Can you imagine that? 
Can you imagine? Yeah, I, I, I don't mind. I'd go on a waiting list. I'm okay with that. They don't come up very often, especially in the southwest. I'll be honest. Uh, jobs for games. People don't. People obviously aren't dissatisfied with working there. They love it, so they stay in their job. So, um, you know, this is this is a problem for me, <laughs> trying to get into the industry. But there you go. You know, it wouldn't bother me the hours I worked. Because they don't start to like... It wouldn't bother me working till late in the evening. Every day, it wouldn't bother me. Not for something like that. Even the smell of the place that I just love. The smell of glue and paint and... I don't know, it's just... Hobby smell, do you know what I mean? Yes, this is something I might try. And I notice, since my interview with them, particularly... He's actually an option for videos. Now you can submit videos to them. So imagine that, guys. Mm. I've got to market myself. That's what I've got to do. I realise that. It's just in my free time. I like to kick back and relax. And hobby, for the most part. Admittedly, terrain, not so much. But painting and building... Um, Plastic kits and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's kicking back. Ooh. And we're nearly halfway through the video. Already! If I didn't say so before, it's about an hour long. And you'll see that anyway from the, the video length. But yeah. Ooh. The company that I did the video for, and for where my wife works, it's, it's called um, John Grimes Partnership. Um, they are consulting engineers, and they deal with all aspects of engineering. Um, I mean, they'll do small jobs. They do some really huge, massive projects as well. Um... And if anybody out there watching the video, you know, in the UK, you know, needs a consulting engineer who can arrange all aspects of engineering for you, construction, you know, surveys, geotechnical, civil, you name it, they're, they're the boys to do it, and girls, obviously, because it's, you know, men and women, but um, do you know what I mean? So... You do me a huge solid. Anyone out there, if you need, you know, any service like that, head on over to John Grammer's Partnership and tell them I sent you, would you? That would be marvellous. Come from the channel Mini Warzone, run by a chap called Peter Gooding. I'm sure they'll do you a good deal. Yeah. They've got some high-profile clients, you know. As well. But they're, they're, they're equally at home, you know. We're doing, like, you know, wall subsidence in your garden or something like that. Just Just as easy can provide witness, expert witness uh, statement reports. Oh, it's all there, man. It's all there. It's all there.
But like I say, I feel good because this morning I wanted to paint, but I don't have much to paint. That's the only problem. I'd love to have something to paint. Um, unless I raid my shelf of shame, which I could do. Yeah, you know, I might have to do that. Well, I've been toying with the idea of uh, a new Space Marine army. Um, and I've got uh, a box of Space Marines, tactical Space Marines there. So I could do that. But, um, yeah. I'm not going to rush into anything. That's the thing. I've also got some uh, more shock troops. I've got a box of five shock troop guys to paint Cadian shock troops. So I could, you know, I could do that. Add to my guard army. <laughs> two straights out of this. Yes sir I can. So I'm going to cut down. From here. To there. Then I'm going to cut that there. I don't know if you can see that, I've marked it out. So then there's another four squares here. So it takes four to do a straight. So, I wish I had a better way of cutting it, but I don't, so. Have to live with that, I'm afraid. I don't really care how rough the edges are. I'm going to sand them. Anyway. Probably sand them and fill them. I've got filler. I've got three pots of the stuff which I got from the pound shop ooh, ages ago. Actually, one's left over from um, doing the ceiling in here, and the other two were from when, way back when, I started getting stuff for my next diorama. <laughs> right, second piece together. I've got a Warhammer rule book over there. Do you know, I wish I kept my sixth edition. Um, rule book. Um, yeah, I wish I'd kept that because that was that was a thick and heavy tome. Can't remember the seventh. That's eighth, isn't it? We're on now. Eighth edition. Yeah. 
and you know, I can put rest the book on top and you know it's a nice heavy weight and I can um, leave it to one side then It's brightish at the moment outside, um, but then it was yesterday at this time of day, I remember. And as I recall, it got very dark in the afternoon just before it rained. Oh, and it hammered down, it really did. Right, put that over there. Yeah, that's my weight. Can go there, book on top. Lovely jubbly. So we're at 36 minutes, guys. I think after this, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, actually. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to get this done, or at least the building of this done. Because like these here, um, need filling, and they do need filling, uh, I know they do. Then I can, yeah, I just want them all built, um, for now. Can I Yeah, I think so. Sorry, talking to myself again. Now is that a What else? My brother's doing well, and I have to say thank you to all for all your well wishes. Um, yeah, he's doing really well. He's home, back in Wales, and yeah, he's doing well. So, but yeah, thank you for your well wishes. Like I say, it means a lot, and. Um, I am so glad that he's doing all right now. Um, it was a very stressful time. And, you know, I try not to think about stuff because, you know, it just, I, you know what I'm saying, guys. And I don't want to linger on it too long. But, uh, yeah. Straight edge. Straight edge, well, straighter. Some of these are really not straight at all. Let's glue these together. Right, where's my other, oh, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, where's my other straight edge section? Here. Loads of cut marks on this cutting mat. Like I say, good job I've got it. It's my poor table, I can only imagine the state it would be in. Right. Right. 
Right. It's getting harder to cut because the knife's getting blunt. But it will suffice. Don't think the blade's been turned around yet, so I can always do that if I need to. Right. Get in there, we're getting there. Time to glue these together for another straight section. Pop my glasses on. All right, 40 minutes. So let me know what you're working on, guys, because you know I love to read that. I love to read about that. And all will be well. I think I'm going to have to kind of call it a day soon because I'm getting cold and my heat is over the other side of the studio. And, uh, yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> I should check. I really should check my emails. Or something. I emailed, um, where I work. There's a, some promotional thing they're doing. Are you a are you good in front of a camera? Are you good at writing? Would you be able to promote our products? So I figure they're planning on making some promotional videos. And I'm like, yeah. Tell us about yourself and that. So I emailed them. So I'm a YouTuber as well. You know, I only work for the company on a temporary contract at the moment, but I'm hoping to change that. I just love the smell of PVA glue. It's, do you know, for many years I couldn't smell a thing. That was due to my MS. Um, couldn't smell anything. Not a thing. No sense of smell. But now. It came back one day. Do you know what the first thing I smelled after about seven or eight years was? Coffee. I was making coffee. Hmm. Now my concern, biggest concern of this is, do I try and pin them together or not? I don't want to do that. I'll wait until I've got all the sections I think I'm going to need. Um, ooh, that's so nice. What I could do. Yeah. Right, I'm thinking of doing a half straight as well. That's what I'm thinking. Um, all right, let's just cut this because it's like the end of my foam board here now, pretty much. If I mark them out, um, 
No, I can still do it, I can still do it. Well, if I mark them out, I can do a half wall section. That's what I'm thinking. It's about there. Yeah, that's about it's about there. So if I just to cut that enough on the end there. Okay, okay, okay. But these, t these three are. Make up the rest with filler, actually. Let's get the main bulk of it done. The gaps I can fill with filler when the time comes. A half wall section. Yeah, because you could make it crumbling on the edges or what have you anyway, couldn't you? Lack is. Yeah, that's all good. I'm thinking. Right. right how are these coming on? PVA would work. I promise myself I won't do this all day today. And I should 
to stay true to my promise, really. Right, okay, I mean we definitely get in there, I would say. I'm going to dig out some straws, I've got some in the box uh, that's going to use for pipe work and stuff for these guys. Next week, I'm guessing, well, I know. <laughs> guessing that I'm, next week all the glue will be dry I'll be able to start sanding down you know the edges on a piece of sandpaper and uh, putting some of my filler on it in the gaps to smooth them up that's what I'm gonna do I think I, I think so uh, and once the filler's dry. I can coat it with PVA. Okay. Just a boring notification. All right. Super glue on my fingers. Let's see if we can. Mix something with this. Well, this foam board certainly served its purpose, hasn't it? It's doing it very smartly yesterday. That was the problem, I believe. Super glue. I don't think I actually need a load. Oh, I suppose I'll need a fair few. Yeah, more than I got now. So let's see if we can make some more straights. Um, 9.5 9 9.5 So yeah, so we're going quite good here I'm 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I've got an idea for making some um, Lego terrain. I think in the attic, we've got some old Lego from when daughter was younger. And I don't know how much we've got, but I'm thinking it could be used to build walls. Look like bricks. Put the filler over the top bits to the knobbly bits to disguise them. Just paint them up. I think it'll look quite good. Well, that's another option I'm uh, exploring anyway. Right, so these are 9.5. Oh, right, okay. So I was wondering what I was doing then for a minute. I I, I, I zoned out for a minute. And I'm total blank. Mind blank. Got two long bits. Gah! This is uh, what I need on the benches for doing this stuff, you know. Could I be tight and get away with? I'll see if I could get. What if it, I could get away with um, three thickness? Mm, not really. I'm just looking for options to save time. <sighs> Give myself a talking to. Like you know, it didn't work yesterday, Pete, when you tried to do that to to cheat on time. some um, tops for them yet. Yeah, that'll do it. Thing is, I like I just I enjoy making videos. That's my bag, you know. And. Uh, I should really market myself as a video maker. Even if it's just for fun, you know. <laughs> it's what I enjoy doing. Oh, that will... That will do because I know that when it dries, it's going to be really super strong. Okay. Couple of squares there. Could 
do a couple of loads of them. We're at the end of the video, so I should end it here. So let's swivel around, glasses off, and we'll end the video. That's what we'll do. All right. So I'm just sorting my view screen out on this camera. It's one that's attached. I don't have a monitor. Anyway, that brings us to the end of another On The Bench with Pete. So let me know what you're working on in the comments below. It's been brilliant because I've got some stuff done. And now I'm going to take a break from this and do something else. I think that's important. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I know I'm going to put the heating on for sure. Uh, and then we'll see. Be nearly lunchtime then. That's good. Got some good work done today, guys. I hope you have too. And um, let me know if there's any questions you want me to answer. I could sort of talk about during the video. I used to do that. I used to ask questions. Uh, if any of you guys got any topics you like me to talk about on the next episode, I'll happily do that. And uh, yeah, remember all brushes lead to all. Bye for now. Bye bye.